Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his campaign? Nah, it's over one million! What? One million? There's no way that can be right, can it? What's going on guys? I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm making this video to inform you that today is the last day in the Shelby Oaks Kickstarter campaign. At the end of today, the campaign's gonna end, the rewards will go away. This is your last and final opportunity to support Shelby Oaks through the Kickstarter campaign. We have reached over $1 million and every single expectation I ever had for this campaign has been completely blown away. To give you an example, Early on in the campaign, when we hit 250,000, my friend said, that's amazing. If you could imagine a best case scenario, what would it be? And I said verbatim, I don't know, maybe like 500,000, but that seems pretty impossible. So you guys have more than doubled my expectations, and those were expectations that I did not even believe could become reality. I must thank you once again, truly so much for supporting this film. To everyone watching this video who has thus far supported Shelby Oaks, you have made the film better in so many ways. And you have confirmed to me that it was the right choice to do a Kickstarter campaign instead of going with the private funding that we had initially raised because it was a fraction of this amount and we were gonna have to cut so many corners and make the movie in a completely different way than I wanted to and sacrifice so much. And now we don't have to. And again, it's because of you guys and your incredible generosity. But like I alluded to in my last video, this has now opened so many doors that were always closed to me before. I used to think that because I had a YouTube following that it would be easier for me to get my scripts in the hands of people that can actually get things made and distributed on a very large scale. And I was wrong. In reality, it actually made it harder because I was viewed as one thing and not the other. What Hollywood has yet to grapple with and what they are now starting to realize is that the future generation of filmmakers are going to be people who have YouTube accounts, who are known for one thing and not the other. Like if YouTube existed in the 1970s, I guarantee Martin Scorsese, Steven Spielberg, and all these people would have been making random YouTube content. <laughs> it just seems like it would have been inevitable. Even with people like Joe Penna, who directed Arctic with Mads Mikkelsen and Stowaway with Tony Collette and Anna Kendrick, he was a YouTuber as well. Or for instance, David F. Sandberg. Lights Out, Annabelle Creation, Shazam, came from YouTube. Hollywood has yet to fully realize what this new media space is. And they're very confused by it. Because of your support and because of the sheer numbers that they are seeing from this campaign, they're taking note of that. It takes the risk factor out when I approach someone and say, I would really like to work with your company. I have a lot of ideas, a lot of stories. A lot of scripts, can we do something? And they look at this campaign and they see that there are already people who are willing to support my work. Because of that, conversations I've had with studios through Zoom just over the past like four or five days have gone exponentially different than they did last month. I'm saying all this to say that what you guys have done is actually historic and I am I'm not talking about myself. I really am trying to separate myself from that statement and say that in the future, I really hope that this can help Hollywood or just indie studios in general who can actually get films made pay attention to people in this space who have great ideas and who actually have a passion and who really want to make stuff and it's all they know how to do and be happy. You know, there's nothing else they can do and still be happy except make films or act or write or play music whatever it might be. Regardless of how Shelby Oaks as a film may turn out, I am hoping that this campaign and the positive response to it can be a benefit to other people going forward in the future who are also trying to raise money and awareness around their work. And if that can happen, I'm gonna be very happy because that's been one of my biggest goals from the very beginning on this channel, not just to talk about movies, but to connect with people who love film, to really foster a good, like healthy film environment that isn't filled with toxicity, but also find ways to encourage other people who, like me, at some point felt like their world was over and all they had was film and film was it. So you guys have given back in such a massive way and now we can make Shelby Oaks the way we want to. But once again, this is the last day. There is one more full day on this campaign. So if you have yet to support the film and you were thinking about it, the rewards are going to go away at the end of the day. It's the last day to support our film through this campaign. So please, if you're able, any support you can provide is going to go on that screen. And I'm gonna tell you guys something. 
I am not taking a director's fee or a writer's fee. If I get paid on this movie, it'll be later if it gets sold or after it comes out or something. Normally a director and a writer gets paid to make a movie. They get a fee of some kind. I'm completely waiving that and putting it entirely on the screen. Everything that goes in this campaign is going on the fucking screen. So guys, thank you so much for your support and generosity. I am so grateful for it. That link for the Kickstarter is in the description below. And I look forward to shooting the movie very soon. You guys are the best. Thank you so much as always for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.